I in Stardew Valley, day nine of summer, year one, and I am joined by Player Two, aka Player Chessy. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, <Jesse. laughs> okay. aka JKU Free Ninety Gaming. Close enough. Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> and cut Scott, out, so. uh, oh, and Scott from Scott Duck Gaming. Hello. And let's uh, see what we can do. We need to pee on the plants. Come on, Scott. Let's pee on the plants. I'm just gonna sell some stuff and then I'll be with you. <gasps> it's time. All right. Oh, Kyle. chess is chess is watering. What the fuck happened? Yeah, I felt bad. Not really. Oh, I just figured I might as well water one one day out of the whole year. Guys, my my mom has no more milk. Oh no! Oh no! I can't nourish you anymore. Look, she I got, already I got some milk. hit menopause. Oh my god! Look at that jug. Look yeah. at those jugs. And M for me me menopause. That's a lot of mayonnaise. Those no, jugs make it filled make with milk. Do we need milk for any of the achievement things or whatever? Yeah, we Probably. need to make cheese. And large milk for the artisan bond. Uh, so should I craft a cheese maker when I'm done watering? Cheese maker? Because, yeah, cheese sells for much more than milk. I want to make a cheese maker. Oh, I don't have the ability. Something. Yeah, make us a cheese maker. I will make a cheese maker. Nice. Then I won't have to make cheese with Inkle Dinkle anymore. Oh, but that always tastes better. You leave my Inkle Dinkle alone. No. The Inkle Dinkle cheese is a little tangier than normal. It's yummy. I think someone's invisible. <laughs> Whenever you clicked on that, it made me look inside the chest. That was weird. Bye, Inkle. Bye, Bye Dinkle. Dinkle. Oh. Beat you to it. Well, I don't know about that with the latency, but... Nice. I am now out of water. All right, make the cheese maker. I may, will make the cheese maker, good sir. They call me the cheese maker. Yay! Not for it. Not for no reason, man. I got me. Okay, what do I need for the cheese Next. maker? What do I have? I don't think. Oh, uh, I promised too much. Too soon. Oh, did I know? Yeah, I did. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't I don't have the ability yet to make a cheese maker. Oh. Mm. Sorry, Inkle oh. Dinkle, back to the pin. Bah, bah. Come on, Inkle Dinkle. You pull out a... Lift, like a, lift your tail. A, a, yeah, exactly. A wooden contraption that's kind of like the thing from the South Park episode, the cheese in the episode. Yes. Holds the, the cat's tail up. Jesse, have you got any more gold? Um, right now I am in like diamond territory, but I'm looking for some. Actually, I did just pick some up, so I'm getting some down here. Clint wants 20 copper ores. Do we have 20 copper ores? No, I, I think whenever they say that, I think you have to get 20 copper ores after you get the, the thing. Because I've tried before to bring him 20 and he's like, he doesn't acknowledge it. Well, I can accept it and just get it out of the chest. No, I know, but I think, well, I guess you test, but yeah, whenever I've tried before, I've just... Well, I can't abandon it. It's no harm done, no yeah. foul. Just, yeah. yeah well, on, if it like, works, I'll come and get them, because I need some as well, but I don't know if we've got that many. Yeah, I need 15 if it works. Um, Jesse? New reward! Yes, sir. What's the, uh, what's the weirdest gift you've ever received? Um... Oh. Um... All right, I've got one. It's kind of a funny story, actually, but um, I, I, I'm not sure if I mentioned this. I probably have, but for a very long time, I was a, a waiter, you know, so and I, was, I worked at some pretty uh, fancy places. And this one place that I worked at was in um, it was nestled with inside a fairground. OK, so like every time the fair came, it would be, uh, I think it was like 14 to 18 days worth of 500,000 people who were at the fair. So every time, like, the place was crazy busy. And um, so I was in the middle of a really big rush and this um, 
this gay guy starts hating on me hardcore. He's sitting alone. Hardcore? He just hates I, like, I'm talking at one point, he grabbed my hand and, like, stared into my eyes longingly. I'm like, uh... It was very awkward and weird. So, just to stop you here, does anyone know where this gift is coming from? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm hoping. From the nether regions. I, I always like a good... Oh, Holland. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I always like a good romance story, Scott, so I'm hoping I know where it's going. Yeah. Carry on. All right, well, um, of course, you know, I get home from work, Three and I, I, I told my parents about this because I was living with them at the time. And, and they said like, we knew you were gay? 18. No, but, my, you know, my dad made fun of me and stuff, and a couple weeks later, he, he gives me a custom-made pink T-shirt that said Ned's Bitch on it. Was Ned the guy's <laughs> name? Was, was Ned the... was the guy's name, apparently. No. Yeah. I apparently forgot that important detail. <laughs> I do like but a yeah. good story with the, the most important part missed out. <laughs> it's like when you tell the punchline of a joke first. Or better yet, when you that's, forget it. That's not how you tell jokes? What about you, Scott? Um, gifts, gifts, gifts. I'm not really... A finger in the bum. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no comment. Um... <laughs> It's not really a gift. Well, it is a gift, but I got given a second-hand <laughs> coffee machine. <laughs> right? Even though I don't drink tea or coffee. Are you human? Yes. <laughs> not, neither tea nor coffee. What do you drink? Maybe he's like well, me. I only, I only drink water and milk. Huh? Yeah. Ah. Oh god, it's that super fish again. God damn it! Super um, fish. Generally squash GP or mm. sometimes fizzy pop or water. Hot oh, chocolate okay. occasionally. Squash? Like butternut squash? No, like cordial. <laughs> you guys have like, that? Like Wait, the stuff cordial? you put in wa uh, water to make it taste like black currant. What? Um, Do you not have cordial? No. no. Diluted, like, fruit juice. That gotcha. You put water in. Yeah. What did you call that? I mean, uh, cool Fire up? No, I think he's talking about flavored water. Well, no, uh, I'm so... talking about... I'm talking about squash. <laughs> so, butternut. The, the Have you heard of Ribena? Acorn squash. No. You've never heard of Ribena? No, he's talking about Have the fruit. Of... He's just eating a squash. Is, or is that a different no. type of squash? You got are idiots. R Rabino squash? Ribena, it's not that difficult to You can't to say. be rubbing How or you squash. Like... So, what, so what options have you got to put with water to make it taste different? What do you mean? Syrup. <laughs> what, you, don't, Syrup. you don't really put stuff in water. Syrup. You're not I mixing mean, out. I sometimes stir my water with my dick, which changes the flavor, but... That's oh, not the color. Color. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you could reach it to stir it. You know, yeah. <laughs> um, so what about... Um, you'd have to put it in a saucer. Um, what about, um, so we can, we can have, like, apple and blackcurrant, or summer fruits, or Yeah, this just sounds lime. like flavored water. What do you mean flavored water? I it mean, changes the color of the water. Okay. I mean, like, Yeah, it's water. totally Kool-Aid. No, it's not. We have, so yeah, but Kool-Aid, don't you put, like, sugar and stuff with it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, so he's not talking about that. No, this is All just, right, like... Alright, then 4C. Same shit. What? That must be a New York thing, I don't know what... Or a Bustonian. It's Bustonia. a like the, they have the, the iced tea, the, the pink lemonade and stuff like that, where it's a powder to add to... It's like Kool-Aid with the sugar already added to it. No, this is this is a liquid. You. Alright, so then like, um... Oh, what is that stuff? It's a dog. <laughs> hey, Jesse. Mio. That's the shit I was thinking of. Mio. I love the Matrix. I can't believe you like don't have cordial. I can't believe you next. You don't have Kool Aid. Wow, it took long enough. Yay. Well done, GP. GP, look. What? I got a spooky, scary skeleton. Spooky, scary skeleton. And you have free TVs. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> When people don't want their crap, they put it in my house. <laughs> so... 
You stole all uh, of them. I, no, Jesse Jesse forget. stole all of them and framed me. I did no such thing. In fact, I'm pretty sure he even admitted to it in the end of the last session. So, no. strangest gift I ever received. Let me paint you a picture. It's my ex-girlfriend. Is she hot? You got her as a gift. <laughs> no, my, my, my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> she was Taiwanese. For, no, for her birthday, I uh, bought her a watch because hers broke recently. And for my birthday, she bought me black bath salt. Black bath salt. Black, black bath salt. Now, do you mean like, bath salt is in the one you put like in a, a bathtub drug? or the, the drugs? The you, no, the, the one that you put in the bathtub. Okay. So the issue is it stained your bathtub permanently black. <laughs> And it's also, I, I looked online, it was like 5 euros, so... That shouldn't be how much yeah. it costs. Well, it's also, I, I always shower, I don't even take baths, and she knew that. It's like, yeah, I put thought into your, your gift, because you needed it, and I let it, uh, had it engraved and stuff. And she gave me bath salt. Yeah, it, it was kind of off-putting. I'm quite honest here. I don't think sure. she gave you bath salts if they make your tub permanently black. <laughs> I, I hope she, she got him, coal. like, or something to like, put in his drink. <laughs> oh, my God. She got, cool she got you roofies. <laughs> yeah. Be awesome. I think I would have appreciated the other bath salts much more. <laughs> you could have shared with me. Yeah, but that... That stuff just tasted horrible and made you poo puke. Um, we still have one. Yeah, we still have one more day, right? Yeah. Yep. So yeah, that's. I mean, cl close runner-up is an inflatable flower. F day. An inflatable what? Wow! Look at all the an money we made. An inflatable flower, like oh. a tulip. That sounds How cool. was better than Daffod? It was only a piano. So, what? That's a you, joke. You meant to say what is better than daffodils on your piano? Ooh. Oh, I know, I know that one. So I'm gonna. Uh, two lips on your um instrument. I don't know. Organ. <laughs> two lips on your organ. Yeah. Organ, do you think? Instead of oh, no. some roses, I'd rather have tulips on this marvelous organ of mine. So, you guys have crackheads over there, right? What, crackheads? Is that a food crackhead. type? <laughs> like pe people who smoke crack. No, really I never crack. met a crackhead, actually. Drugs are illegal no. there. Drugs I've never met also, a crackhead I, I didn't like. I, I don't think... I, I'm not sure crack is a thing around here. They're all really friendly. Well... Well, they're, the, they're thing, the thing prevalent. you have to remember about crack is that it's the poor man's cocaine. Yes. Yeah. We don't have poor people. We are all poor. <laughs> it's very prevalent over here. And, uh, alright, so, in order to smoke the crack, they need a crack pipe, right? Which consists of basically a little tube of glass and some, like, uh, metal sponge type stuff. Uh, steel wool. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, so, because crack and stuff like that is so prevalent, they sell that shit at, like, convenience stores and corner stores and stuff. Why do you see where you shelves? live do crack? I mean, everywhere I've lived. But well, they sell it actually in shops. Not the crack, but they sell both the glass pipes. The steel wheel right, and the glass pipes. So, but, the thing is, with the glass pipes, how they get away with it is the people who make it, they put a little, like cloth rose on the inside of it and make it seem all cutesy and stuff like that but everybody knows it's for crack pipes uh well when i was a kid i was dating a chick and i ended up getting her one of those to be like cute and everything like that and it turns out i gave her a crack pipe because i should own it better well could be <laughs> cute depending on her social status yeah, um, that's true um the thing is uh what what's the thing I'm I'm always curious when I hear the the, the stories about crack addicts. Okay. So what's what's the deal with the baby formula? I have no idea. Um, I don't even actually know anybody that's done crack. Um, from what I have have gathered, uh, people like in order to make crack, you take 
babies. Cocaine. You take cocaine and you cook it down with either baking soda or something like that. I think formula can be used instead of baking soda. I am not positive on that. Oh, okay. Good to know. Guess. Is it good to know? It's not roosters, it's ducks. <laughs> the more you know, the Doo -doo. more crack you can make. Exactly. Don't worry, GP. Uh, we'll talk about it after. I'll give you the proper dosage of both. Give you the recipe. That yeah, exactly. That's good. My I, personal. I, I still kind of want to make blue meth, but <laughs> yeah. I wait that because you're, you're bald. Yeah. What, what night? What <laughs> night? I'm the one was, who knocks. <laughs> um, when that show was super popular, I went um, to Halloween one year, like as the dude. So I got got all dressed Which up. But dude? one of the things I, the um, the main dude, Mr. Okay. White. Um, I which is, uh, which, which is weird because. I mean, Jesse. Yeah, yeah I know. Like that's why Jesse. I asked which dude, because I was like, why wouldn't he be Jesse? <laughs> that's that's very fair. That would, But, you know, I just grabbed a cheap costume. But um, oh. what I ended up doing was I, I made um, rock candy, blue rock candy. It was yeah. handing out blue meth to everybody. It was great. Oh, no. I got to help Leah. She's on the phone with some guy named Kel. She wants to be Keenan and Kel want her. Key, key, key and Kel. Key, key and Peel. I'm gonna go hand in the blacksmith bundle. She's wet again. Oh no. She also, also has a rotary telephone. Oh, and like everybody in a nice. budding relationship, she's telling me about her ex. What is the most um, nostalgic thing you can think Power of? Power Rangers. I think mine might be the rotary telephone, you know? Really? Yeah. No, we didn't have one. No, <laughs> my, my grandmother did have one. Scott was like 30 yeah, when the rotary telephone was invented. Yeah. <laughs> Scott was like 12 when the <laughs> telephone was invented. Graham Bell. He was like 12 telephone. when the people that invented the telephone were invented. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, believe it or not, I had to convince my parents to let us get a touchstone phone when they first came around. For what some was reason, your first they didn't want to get mobile it. phone, guys? Oh what god. was my first mobile phone? I think a Nokia. Yeah. A Nokia? Yeah, yeah. Nokia. The, 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 the 33 something, the... With the little antenna sticking out of top. Yeah. yeah. 3210. Yeah. 3210, yeah. My, my first one was an Ericsson... Uh, I don't know, it has the, the, the changeable cover plates with, with, oh, for the nice. numbers. Uh, and the antenna that always broke off when you had the phone in your pocket and it sat down. I I went through so many antennas at that time. And, like, it had a huge um, battery. Like, it, if you put it in your pocket, you had a real bulge going on. Well, I, I always do. Yeah. But it was kind of shifted to the side. It always it looks is. to Jesse. All that oh, he's supposed to carry around his bad dragon toys. Yeah. And the issue back then was when the antenna broke, uh, you you had no reception whatsoever. But <laughs> the battery life was great. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it was just a small stubby antenna up top. Whoa, don't make fun of me. <laughs> oh, um so so I you know, you wouldn't you would think that the that the receiver itself would still... Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, this took a turn. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm, um, it was... It was great. It was great back then. I mean, the battery life was amazing. Did anyone ever have a pager? No, they, they I, ne never I never needed thing. one. I, I didn't need one, but I wanted one, so I got one. It was, it was a pager. <laughs> Yeah, apparently you need to like go out and stuff if you're gonna use a pager. Other than that, they just call you. I I, I also wait great great lengths after the Matrix, the first Matrix movie came out, to convince my mother that I need that the uh, sunglasses, the Nokia, and the trench coat. Oh. <laughs> no, the, the Nokia that that flips open with the touch of a button and it's back. Oh, I remember that. I had one that was similar. It was a Kyocera or whatever, Kyocera, that yeah. had um the the 
front of it would slide up, and that's how you opened it. So no, it no, that, it, mine was actually the the model that came out after the movie model, like similar to the to the phone in the movie because yeah, the, no, the I, phone in the movie was never a thing. Right. No, I remember it was the one you're talking about. It had the button and would shoot. It out was the also the. Yeah, it was also the first phone that had the VAP capability, like the, the mobile internet back in the day. Mm. It was great. What phone are you talking about? Uh, the Nokia 7710 oh. you know or something? Like the Motorola Razor. Oh yeah, that was cool, but that, that was, was a way good phone. Can you remember when the Nokia one, yeah, it was, I think it was Nokia, came out from um, the Matrix? Yeah, uh -huh. that's that's the thing that's I'm talking about. talking about. And it was literally just a button rather than anything electronic that slid the yep. thing down. Yeah, that was that. That's exactly that's exactly the phone I was talking about. I I worked so hard to convince my mother I need that phone. <laughs> we need a, a fire quartz. By the way, um, I might have one. Might be one in the chest somewhere. Woo. You didn't tell me there was the obsidian, put... obsidian edge sword on floor ninety. I was just gonna say that. If somebody put like things, oh. somebody put things in the right bloody chest, we might be able to find it, Jesse. Yeah, someone should do that. On oh, Firewalker boots. I'm just yeah, running that around. That one, that one I mentioned, and no one cared. No, I ignored you. The same difference. That's cool. I would have cared. Okay. Okay, I want to build up my friendship to Marnie. To get those pants. To get those pants. Pantaloons. I want to get in those pants too. I mean, can I give you those pants and then collect them again? That'd be a great question. Or can I open the door for you and you collect them? No, if it's open, you still can't walk through it. Oh. Can we sell things like the small magnetic ring? If you want. I'm sorry, what? I, I, I don't have a ring. Oh, Why would you ever sell that ring? We got loads Why of do them. we have a fourth? It's a token of our, a ring. There's a bunch of them. Bonds. Where? Of the time we all touch oh. tip. I'm I mean, I've had on one for a really long time from when, you know, Jesse gave me one personally in a box, but. Yeah. Then I, of course, I had to make it up by then I don't, asking I don't him to the dance. I think you them anyway. I'm never taking mine off. I'm annoyed we can't yeah. recycle them. If I'm honest. Okay, okay. Sorry. There's some torches over here if you want to go down the, um... Mines in the, the dark mines, Jesse. Oh, uh, why are you There's glowing, Jesse? Some torches. Because I have a, r a ring. I have a ring that glows around me, so I don't mean I'm good with it. You have a ring that glows around you. Uh huh. I'm sparkly. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Is it? Is it your your ring on the backside that it's the black just death. caught fire? It's 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 my cock ring of fire. You no, it's uh. To a big cock ring. Of fire. It's called the glow um, ring. It emits I... a constant light. Guys, I also kind of want to invest into a, a iron X. Iron eggs. Iron eggs. Iron, Iron eggs, eggs. I think he said. So Iron like eggs. giant robot. Yeah. What? I'm a humble farmer. Uh, I don't have any but, knowledge of how giant mechs work. But um, <laughs> I I I will allow Scott to get his uh, long, lo long desired uh, fishing rod. You still don't have that, dude. Get that shit. <coughs> What have you been waiting for? Um, do it. Do it now. Two days, Obviously, way. he's waiting oh, yeah, for the money up. to go up so I can buy a sweet expansion for our coop. Or our slime thing. So, thank you so much for watching, everybody. That was Dot You Belly with Jordan. That's me. You 390 From True Friends Gaming. Check out yes. his channel. Play it too, aka Jesse. Check out his Jesse. channel. Don't do that. And Scott from Scott Duck Gaming. Check out his channel, which you're probably watching on. Um, I mean, that's cool. You didn't want to watch mine. <laughs> Who does? No one. 
Oh, Matt. Thanks, Matt, everybody. Yeah, all right. See you, everybody. Later. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Matt.